Hi everybody, welcome to my workshop. It's everything is covered in black oily ebony dust. So I was in here trying to fix the mistakes I'd made in radiusing the neck. I took a plane to it. I think I got it down a little bit better. Um, the radiusing bit really didn't help very much. But I kind of got it shaped a little bit. It's radius to, to some extent. And then I took out my um, radiusing block and started to radius the, uh, the fretboard just to get it down. And I wasn't meant to do that. It's now time to shape the back of the neck. And I know that's going to take a bit of concentration. And so I was doing a bit of pro productive procrastination by sanding the, uh, the radius into the uh, fretboard rather. What's the first thing that uh, Immortal do? After they've done a show, they go for a bath. There's all sorts of weird things happening on this fretboard that I really don't like, but this will remove it. In there. Slowly. Five minutes later. One hour later. My snot's going to be black tomorrow. Like it has been every time with this damn fretboard. Two thousand years later. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be shaping, I'm going to be planning the shape to cut. So finally, my log of wood is going to start to look more like an actual guitar measurements for my uh, fretboard. So having checked an Ibanez guitar that actually has the locking nut in question on it, it's about four and a half millimeters, so nine millimeters total. So it's nine mil the nut, the nut is nine millimeters high, and I need the fretboard to be four and a half millimeters up in front of it. But currently, my fretboard is too high. But I will fix that in time. Five ninety one. It's almost six millimeters high, so I've got to reduce that by 1.4 millimeters, which is fine. That's not a massive amount. Okay, now it needs to come down here. I'm going to leave quite a lot and then kind of work it away later once I've put the pickup in. No one should see this, so I don't have too much of an issue.
There we go. There's my line to cut. So once I've shaped the profile of the neck, then I'll cut the sides, or I'll plan the sides, then I'll cut the sides. Next, bandsaw. It's finally here. Time to cut the shape of the neck. You can see the neck there. That's what it's going to look like. Let me give you a longer angle there. You should be able to see it on these as well. <coughs> Ta-da! Yeah, it feels like a guitar neck. Oh, I could even play that. Da 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 da. Ah, yeah. Awesome. Now we're getting somewhere. And the cool thing is, no, I didn't go through. Well, I couldn't have gone through. I've made it so thick. Pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Right. I will start recording video the next time I try to do something. So until then, I will see you. And uh, goodbye from me and goodbye from V-Shark. See you later. <laughs>